A civil case is looming against an unidentified man accused of leaking a sexually explicit video of a free state speaker. The ANC Women's League in the province has condemned the circulation of that video, which has been trending on social media. We're joined by legal analyst, Advocate Romeo Ntambeleni. Advocate Ntambeleni, good evening to you. Thanks for your time. An incredibly difficult and, and sensitive conversation to have, especially when one thinks about the impact that this is having on the person in the video, her family, her loved ones, but also just from a professional perspective. And this is partly why even um, something like revenge porn has been outlawed in this country. Absolutely. Uh, good evening, Kathy, to you and the viewers. No, you're quite correct. Look, the Constitution, Section 14 of the Constitution, guarantees the rights to, you know, know, to privacy and you know, human dignity as well. And then the two you know, go together. And you know, uh, in, in what you have just indicated there, you know, when, once that is infringed, it affects on the dignity of a person. And you know, that cannot be something that can be promoted or actually condoned. The difficulty with where we are tonight is that this video has gone viral. It is available on social media. People have been sharing it on various platforms. What are the legal implications of that? Yeah, look, no, the, the, the law obviously discourages you know, the republication and the resharing of such a video. So we have to actually make it clear that any resharing and republication of the, the video is a criminal offence. And, and now that is in terms of the Films and Publication you know, Act which the President has actually signed recently into law. And also the Cyber Crimes Act is very clear in terms of you know, the penalty that one can actually face if they are actually caught redistributing such kind of material and content. And, and hence, you know, such redistribution should be discouraged you know, uh, you know, amongst any other person who might actually have that video in their hands. In, in as far as culture change is concerned, how do we begin to change the culture around even something like we're seeing in this instance, revenge porn? Because when we look at some of the examples that we have had in this country, it's been incredibly damaging. And unfortunately, it is often women that are on the receiving end of this kind of crime. Absolutely, you are quite correct, uh, you know, Kathy. I think we need a clear re-socialization as a country in terms of how to handle, you know, issues relating to social media. And you, 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 you're making a good point because even the law was not advanced to actually have foreseen, you know, the advent of this social media and how to actually handle it. And that's why you see now the law is trying to catch up to try and, you know, pass legislation, you know, that actually prohibits this uh, such kind of conduct in a country where we're dealing with a lot of women abuse and children abuse. So it's quite important that a, 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 an important re-socialization aspect of it comes into the picture in order to discourage any form of dissemination of this you know, kind of information as well. And this is very much important. And people also should actually be careful in terms of you know, how they you know, you know, take this kind of videos and who they actually share it with because in the end of, at the end of the day, no, it, it ends up in, 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 in a wrong hands. And you can see that in the case that we're actually talking about, there was an issue of extortion that was you know, being talked about and certain of, uh, amounts of money being demanded. So you can see that uh, you know, those are the dynamics that uh, one is actually dealing with. So it's quite important that people should respect their own privacy, you know, privacy before we even talk about you know, the counter taking the full responsibility mm. in terms of how to handle all these issues. Do you think that part of the reason why we continue seeing incidents of this nature is because the policing around it is actually quite poor? Yeah, you know, we, we, you're quite correct because we have not seen a conviction of someone, you know, serving a straight prison sentence, as an example. And these are high profile matters that can be used to set a precedent or, or a standard to show that. If anyone you know, dares to actually do this, then there will be consequences for that. So if, you know, if there's no convictions, you know, uh, people can simply you know, be encouraged to think that they will get away with it. But once we have convictions and we have people saving direct imprisonment for this kind of acts, then, then, then it, it will become better for all of us. So the challenge is you know, how we actually handle it going forward.
Advocate Romeo Ntambeleni will leave it there for tonight.